Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to show you my nighttime skincare routine. Um, I'm just going to head to the gym, so I need to get rid of all this makeup. So this is what I would do at the end of the day to remove all the makeup that's clogging my pores that I have like, sitting on my face. So yeah, let's get into the video. So the first step in any routine is to get rid of whatever is in the way. So for me, it's the earrings. So yeah, get rid of those. Um, and so the first step I do is always double cleansing. Um, so one part of my double cleansing method is an oil cleanser and a foam or gel based or cream cleanser. So the first one is this oil cleanser that I picked up in Japan. It was 500 yen, so it was super affordable, which is about $5. And I use this to get rid of all of my makeup. So I will show you. I'm just gonna tuck all of this behind my ears. So I take about, about like a squirt. So just that much. And I warm it up in between the palm of my hands. And I start with my cheeks because that's the biggest surface area that I have. Make sure to use your ring finger because that's the gentlest, that's the softest finger. I'm gonna go wash this off now. Okay, so my face is somewhat clean, it's very moist. So the next step is the second part of my skincare routine, which is all my double cleanse method, which is foam cleansers. For me, it's foam. Um, the one I'm using is by Neogen, but I rotate this with the other cleanser, which is the um, COSRX Good Morning Gel Cleanser, um, which I use if I'm having a really, really bad breakout day. But for every day, I've just been using this. But So I take maybe half a pump, because there's a lot in this. And then I warm it up in between my hands again, and I start with the cheeks and then I go all over pretty gently I try to cleanse for 30 seconds to a minute just to get rid of everything that my oil cleanser didn't get rid of under my chin a bit of a cleanse as well pat the excess water off my face I want to to remain moist so that my skincare gets absorbed a lot better. So the first part of my skincare routine is this holy grail, ordinary amino acid and vitamin B5 um, serum. So it's a concentrated hydrating formula, support formula. It's a concentrated hydration support formula, and it's this one. I take like this much in my dropper, and I squirt it all out, and I basically warm it between my hands. I always warm things between my hands, just so that it breaks down a bit, so that it doesn't have to, so that you don't have to rub it when it's on your face, and I just pat it all over and I never forget the neck that it is so important because I'm getting old and I basically pat it in I find that for me because I have quite a few acne scars especially after a pimple that this has helped to lighten and fade a lot of my scars because of the amino acids that's present the next step in my skincare routine is this snail mucin essence. Um, so it's by Benton. So it's just this one. And it's just an essence that helps to lock in moisture because I'm quite dehydrated, my skin, and it's quite on the dry side. So I take about two pumps of this because I want it to cover all my neck and sometimes my decolletage as well. Um, so I warm it up in between my hands again and I just spread it all over. So any excess, I will just um, pat it into the elbows and my arms. 
ones because they're quite ashy. Okay, that's done. Now my next step usually involves vitamin C serum, which is this one by Unicent, um, but unfortunately because my skin was breaking out and it has become quite fair, I don't use vitamin C every day. So I'm going to skip that for today, but usually that's in my skincare routine is vitamin C because it does help to lighten and fade any acne scars that I might have. So the next step instead is um, this moisturizer by ASOC. So it's the Camellia Nut uh, Facial Hydrating Cream, which is this one. bumps along my cheek and I've got a pimple there so what I do is I take tea tree oil and I just put it all over just as an antibacterial agent for the acne I just put it all over right. and the last moisturizer that I use to help block everything in is an oil based moisturizer so it's the squalene 100% plant derived squalane, not squalane, sorry, squalane hydration um, oil. It's by the ordinary as well. And this is where I take a little bit more, I'm almost out. So I take like half, half a squirt, half a dropper, and I drop maybe four or five drops. And this one you have to warm in between the palm of your hands, otherwise, it's just oil sitting on top of your face. You want it to penetrate into your face. But with squalane, it already is one of those like lighter weight oil moisturizers, so it's not too bad. And I basically go all over my face, making sure my neck is hydrated. from Leah Yu, they do is you're supposed to take like a Q-tip, but it's hygienic enough because it's got a pump so you don't need to dig into it and it lasts forever. And I've got like little scars that I want to get rid of, like this pimple that was a pimple, turned scar, or like the one on my nose, the one in between my brows. Like I just go all over and I just dot it where I need um I need it to lighten up basically. Yeah, and that's it. That's all I do. Sometimes, I, if I'm really dehydrated, I'll go in with the Laneige sleeping mask. But today, I'm pretty good. I think I'm pretty much well nourished. My skin is breathing a lot better. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.